Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? We have our car right here, our very own car, the barn find that we got, and I asked you all last week whether you thought I should try to get everything up to 100% on this one, or if I should try something a bit lower. Now most of you said that you thought 75% would be best, uh, however, looking at the car, um, we've got some stuff at 50%, some stuff at 100%, uh, um, most of it, well, a lot of it at the moment hasn't sort of been checked. Oh, we got, some of this stuff has been checked, so that's kind of okay. But yeah, 75% seem to be the one that most of you said is what we should go for, so we will attempt 75%, and we will see what we can do to improve... I mean, I think, like, some of these, like, the left tail light, is that something that you can repair? I think, like, the hood you can repair. That's at 63%. So if I take that one, and um, so what I'd like to do is I just want to remove the hood, and then I want to come over here because we've got our repair bench, and I've... Oh, there's no items to work with. Um, there are certain things that you can use and you, you can do in order to improve the quality of some of these items, um, and then some of them there isn't. Uh, move car assemble mode, so we put that one back on. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure how you'd go about repairing something like that. Maybe there's... Is there something in here that you can uh, do to upgrade later on? What's this one? Uh, expansion garage, another lifter, warehouse, another parking spot. Um, so, yeah, there, I'm, I'm guessing that later on there will be some items that we... Or some things that we can do in order to... Um, oh, expansion garage adds a paint shop, dyno, other lifter... Um, a welder there, successful chance to repair raised by 85%, or to 85%. Um, right, so there's various different things that we could do. So we might be able to, like, find a replacement hood, um, on this one. I mean, what, what else could we do? We've got overview, um, move, assemble, interior, disassemble, and then car status. So could, could we go and buy another hood to, to replace this one? I mean, um... This one is, we want to look at this, uh, left tail light, which one is it, um, rear bumper, there, hood, it's just, it's just the hood for this particular car, so if we, um, oh, actually we don't even need to go over to the, um, to the computer anymore, we can go straight to the tablet, um, what we're going to need to do is we want to try and get the car to the test track so that we can drive it around and we can test it and see what that does, uh, body shop, this is the one that we're going to want, and... Now, do we need to go a bolt cape? Ah, I see. So we can we can buy all of this stuff, and ours is a particular make of car, isn't it? So we've got um, the caster. It's, it's something. It's, it's K, isn't it? I, I can't even remember what it's called. It's, it's K something. Um, uh, is it Catagirl? No, I don't think it's Catagirl, is it? So what, what else is there? Um, well, it's, it's Catagirl Katsumoto. Uh, Luxor Brown Hood. No, so it maybe it must be one of these. And let's try. Oh, right. What have we got? Um, FMW. No, I went too far. Bumper. So we got front bumper and then doors and uh. Oh, there we go. That one right there. Three hundred and fifty dollars for a new one of those. So it doesn't look like you can upgrade them. Um, we're not going to worry about the exterior of it just yet. We do need to buy another one of those, an another light. Um, let's put it on to the lifter a minute and lift it up a little bit because there was another item in here that we needed to get to in order to be able to make the thing run. Now, there was a, a belt, wasn't there? There was, there was one belt on there and it's the one that goes off of that alternator but where does it run to where, where does the where's the other belt go to so what we need to do is try part mount oh it's that one there we need a serpentine belt a we don't have one so we need to go here actually uh we need to come out of this mode like that and then go this one it's just a ser it's serpentine belt a wasn't it or a serpentine belt um we don't want the body shop i've gone back there we go so main shop is the one that we want and then we want, uh, well, we're going to engine, and I think it's a serpentine belt, wasn't it? And, right, uh, that's timing belts, and here we go. Serpentine belt A. I think it's, oh, no, crumbs. That one there, it's, it's just the serpentine belt A, isn't it? There is nothing else to it, so let's buy that one. And we come out of there. 
we go back to the engine and then we right click and we go to uh, part mount mode and come down over here there is our serpentine belt a now we can mount this one on so that one is there and that's done which means if we come out of there and we close the hood down we should be able to run this car this car should now run if we go to car status and we've got all of these different items that we don't really know what we're going to what conditions they're in at the moment some of them she like a lot of these here um inner tie rods outer tie rods this is stuff that we can check on the track so brake discs are really really poor but we can bring it down off of the ramp like that and then if we run down to the door we go oh no click to use now we don't have a barn find anywhere here because i think that's because we've already got the the barn we've got the junkyard there we've got the the racetrack and car auction we haven't actually been to the racetrack yet we're going to go to the test track though we want to check this one out at the racetrack see what it's like and we can find a few more bits that we need to replace we'll replace a few parts on our car but we got to we do have to keep a reserve of cash to be able to do some other things as well so it's very slow and it's rocking around an awful lot so we need to go up here i'm going to stay in cab we can go to um rear of the cab as well okay very very slow on all of it slalom test now let's keep going Ooh. I nearly hit the. Uh, I, I don't know what happens. Do you actually like completely damage your vehicle if you go if you drive into the wall or something? I don't really want to find that one out because I'd like to keep the car intact and I don't want to have to pay out any more money than I absolutely have to. So we're going flying across here now. <laughs> okay, I think the suspension test is kind of um, yeah. We, we, we've done the suspension test, but I'm not sure we did the car a lot of good while we did it. Come round here. We're going to keep going on around this corner. The, the brakes test. Ah, oh, there it is. So we, we don't want to go too fast because um, it's never going to be able to stop. Oh, it did stop. I'm amazed. I did not think it would be able to do that. Achievement unlocked road test. I don't know what that means. It's a problem. You get these achievements unlocked and then you don't actually... There's no one to tell you what the achievements are that you've unlocked and what you've done with them. And the results are in. Examine 25 parts, and 25 parts are below the 75% mark that we have said that we're going to try to go for. So we have $2,000 at the moment. I think we're going to need a lot more. We're going to need a lot, lot more than that. So, yeah, let's run over to the car a second and take another look at the car status. So 10%. I mean, even if we went for 50% minimum on everything we could like leave some of it intact then we wouldn't have to pay for all of it now this lot down here ha is there a quick way to check that or have you literally got to strip everything down and redo it because i mean 50 percent a lot of this stuff would be okay on 50 percent it's just uh, some of it doesn't have 50 percent. some of it is below that and we don't have a right headlight we do need to do that right i'll tell you what we're going to do we're going to move this car um where do we go? So, move the car to another location in the garage. Or... Right, so if we go here, we want to go... No, we don't want to go to the test path parking. Store your cars in parking so that it will not take garage place when not needed. So, we're going to put this one in parking for now. And we're going to get another order. I would like to keep a minimum of $2,000 in our kitty so that we can pay for other jobs. Um, I feel that's kind of important that we do. So, what do we got? We've got uh, a brake job. Uh, poor brake performance, brake problems, another brake job. This is an engine job. Cars, filters, and engine power has failed. Right, I kind of like the sound of that one. That one sounds like it'd be a bit more interesting than just a standard brake job. Although we will do some brake jobs, but this one here... Oh, this has no bonus, normal order. This one, no bonus, no bonus, money bonus. Now, money bonus is good. Uh, this one down here, experience bonus... Uh, no bonus. Right, so experience bonus, uh... Now, do we do we go for an experience bonus? This one, filters need replacing, um, tapping sounds from engine bay, list provided. So we could do that one, or we could just go for a, a money bonus one there. Let's go, we'll go money bonus first, we'll go for cash, and we'll worry about getting extra bays, like leveling up faster uh, later on. So we'll take that one there. It is just a break job. 
But we're pretty good with brake jobs now, so we ought to be able to do this one pretty quickly. Nice, shiny looking car, so let's just take a quick look at the car status. ABS pump, brake pad, and brake pad, and that's it. So it's literally just two items that we need. So we need brake pads, brake pads, and ABS pump. So let's go straight into the computer, and we go to the main shop. We'll get the stuff from here. Uh, brakes, there we go. Uh, ABS pump was one that we needed, $950, that is why we don't um, spend all of our money. And we want brake pads times two, $80. Right, that's everything bought that we're going to need for this car, so let's move this one quickly to the uh, lifter, not the test path, lifter A. And what I'm thinking is once we've expanded the garage and we have two lifters, the car we, we own and are working on will go into the second bay. Um, and then orders can go through onto the first base. So we lift that one up and we move into, and it's the ABS module, is it? I think it was the ABS module that needs to know. ABS pump. Did I buy an ABS pump or did I get a, um, a different one? I did. I got an ABS pump. That's okay. Right. Where is the ABS pump? I'd like to do this without, oh, it's behind the module. So we take the module off and then the pump is in behind that one. Scroll down like that. I'd like to do it without putting the blue lights up, although I'm actually thinking that it would be a lot easier if we were to do the blue lights with the wheels so that we can identify which wheels we've got to take off so we don't take off all the tyres. It would be a lot quicker if we could do it that way. So the ABS pump there, we can take that one, and then we can put the module back on as well. That one's already at 100%. Got oh, that one back in there. And uh, job done. Right, so let's come... Oh, no. Um, if I press escape, I come out of there and I can close the hood down. Now, in order to find out which wheel it is, all I need to do is I go to right-click and car status. And then I put the two up like that. And it should show me with the blue lights. I should be able to see... Oh, let's come down here. Right. Uh, it's the two on that side. That's easy enough. Okay, and I'll go to that, and then I'll take those off again, so that we don't have them in the way. And it's literally the two on this side. So we go to the wheel, and Rim Classic 02. I take off these rims. It doesn't matter which way round you put them when you're um, undoing them, I've been told. It's only when you're doing them up that you've got to worry about which way round to do them. So we do that, and come back in behind there, undo those, take that one off. Brake pads can come off, and then... As soon as that is done, we zoom in a little bit. Part mount, put the new brake pads on, and yeah, see those are four percent. They're really poor. I don't know why it's just done on one side. Maybe that was something to do with the brake pump. Maybe that was part of the reason that it wasn't working properly. So we take those two together. Yes, I want those. There we go. Put in the bolts on the back. There we go. And then finally the wheel goes back on on the front. I'm hoping that we can sort of do this in record time. So this you do, you are supposed to do alternating sides with the bolts on these and you do them up with a torque wrench in order to get them exactly right. Although we don't, I don't know if we have a torque wrench on this one or not. I'm not quite sure. Um, that one down there. And uh, we can take these off. So yeah, I don't really know a great deal about cars. As many of you have figured out by now, I really, really don't know that much about cars. I actually mentioned to my dad a little while ago that I'm actually doing this series, um, the Car Mechanic Simulator. He thought it was quite funny because he knows exactly how much I know about cars. And um, many of you now know exactly how much I know about cars. I, I, I'm familiar with where the wheels are. And I'm familiar with where the steering wheel is. And that's really about it. It's, it's not much more than that. So a lot of it, I'm kind of guessing my way through. I've heard of various terms and stuff, um, but I'm not familiar with a lot of it. And, and you probably figured that out when I was hunting around for the spring puller the other week. But I am learning. I've been getting advice from everybody and down in the comments section. It's been absolutely brilliant. All the different things that people have been telling me. Um, little tips on how they do things. Um... Some of you have said that it is actually quite painful to watch at times because of how badly I'm doing with it. But yeah, I, um, I quite agree with you. It, it, it probably would be painful to watch. Right. So we get a job bonus of $257 there plus a task bonus of $385. Oh, I see. So you get it's two lots of bonuses. So total payout, we basically make $630 on that job. And that's a pretty quick $630. I think that's, that's not too shabby, really. So let's go straight into another order. And... So we got the, the story one up here as I bought this machine from a friend who needed money quickly and showed me the car was working but something strangely pulls it to the right and this strange smell like mushrooms. Now, 
I did say that I might look at that one this time. I'm thinking probably not. I'm thinking we'll leave that one this time and we'll come back to it and we'll work on the others. Uh, this is one like we've got, right? No bonus, no... I'm looking for money bonuses because we want cash, don't we? So anything that's got a money bonus would be good. Um, engine oil and filter. I think that's actually a pretty quick one. So we'll do that one there, even though it's got no bonus. I think it's probably one of the fastest ones that we could do. So if we take that order, um, not quite sure whether it's um, sort of profitable to do the really fast ones or if it's more profitable to do the other ones. Right, we want oil filter I6. So we go straight to the tablet and we buy oil filter I6. I'm going to go to engine for that, I think. So scroll down through here to the oil filter and i6 that one there 18 dollars for that one come out of there and now we can move the car over to car lifter a excellent and so we run over and we need to drain the oil out first so what we do is we lift it up so i, I do know that bit is you drain the oil out before you take off the oil filter you wouldn't leave like the oil filter um and then do the you you wouldn't do the leave the oil in and take the oil filter off the bad things with you know you basically you, you'd have oil going everywhere so you wouldn't really want that um car lift a we want to put that one in and click to use use equipment so that's drained all of that out can i get to the oil filter from under here i'm not quite sure so let's move that one Oop, i didn't want to do that why are you oh no why are you doing that it's being peculiar. Uh, tablet, settings, orders, inventory. No. It's supposed to move back now. Ah, there we go, right. So for some reason it wasn't move It wasn't like coming up with the right thing. But anyway, uh, no, I don't want to do that either. I want to move equipment. I want to place it back. There we go. So now, can I come under here and find it, the oil filter? Uh, is that it? No, that's not an oil filter. That's part, that's part of the suspension. Um... Yeah, I told you that story last week about my mum uh, hitting the um, uh, hit, hitting the car and um, hitting the uh, the starter motor. The starter motor. That's what I'm thinking of. Uh, tapping the starter motor with a hammer and actually hitting it quite hard and ending up uh, putting a load of dents in it. A number of you said that that's actually something that you guys would do as well. So yeah, it's apparently it's it's not something accessible from under the car. Right. Apparently we can't get to it from here. We've got to go up to the top. So let's close that hood down a minute and lift it back up again. Um, so yeah, apparently my mum is not the only person that would do such a thing. Apparently that is um, something that other people would do as well, which I thought was quite amusing. Um, now, if I can just spin around a little bit, I want to go over to that oil filter. If I go like that, there we go. Now I can take the oil filter off and then we go to part mount and we put the oil filter on. We put a new one on there. Right, now if I press escape and I come out from underneath, lower this one back down to the lower position and we can put the oil in. Should be that simple. Should be. Oh, it is going to be that simple because there is the uh, oil fill plug right there. And how much do we put in this one? I'm not quite sure. We overfilled one of them last week and I don't really want to overfill again. So we will try that. We'll, we'll hope that that is enough. Um, oops. Come under there. There we go. Oil dipstick. And nope, that's not enough. We we want to have more than that, if we can. Um, trying to... Oh, there we go. Right. Oil fill plug. A little bit more so, given on how much we did last time, I think. About there. Let's try that. That does... I, I'm hoping that's about right. And oil dipstick again. Yes, look at that. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful because as someone told me last week, uh, the week before now, because I was talking about it last week, um, you're not actually supposed to, uh, you, you would fill the, the engine all the way to the very brim and then, or, uh, like on the dipstick, because then when you start the engine, when you turn it over, it does actually give you a bit of um, extra as well. It, like, it gives you a bit of extra space. Right, so that one was really quick and we got two, we got a task bonus and a job bonus. Um, so we've ended up making about $60 on that order. So maybe we do want jobs to take a little bit longer because the time you get the job in, you get it moved around and things like that, um, it, it can take a little while. This one here has repair all engine faults and put new engine oil and filter. 
Only 13 seconds left. No bonus. Let's just quickly check if any of these have got bonuses. No. So we're going to go for that one there. A load of engine faults and stuff like that. I think it could prove interesting. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be. There's no clue. It's just engine faults. There's a list of engine faults. So uh, fuel rail, MPI, spark plug, exhaust, manifold cover, belt tensioner. Well, those don't seem like they'd be too bad. Right, so we want an I-4 oil filter, and then we want these bits as well. So I'm going to buy these replacements, and then we can see about getting it over onto the um, onto the lifter. Right, that's all the bits, I think. And let's get this one over to car lifter A, and see what we got. Right, we put it up onto the lifter. We've got to take off the oil filter. We've also got a few bits to do in the engine. So if we do the bits in the engine first, we'll worry about the oil and the oil filter afterwards. First of all, we have the exhaust manifold cover. That one can come off nice and easy. We do that one there and that one there can come off. And we've got a belt tensioner. That is one that's down here somewhere. Uh, isn't it? I think it is. That's where it always used to be. I'm sure of it. Belt tensioner. Where is the belt tensioner? It's not going to be in the timing belt, is it? So we take that one off and I'll take that one off there. You've got the idler roller. I'd like to see, I've, I have said before, I'd like to try to do these without having to use um, any extra any extra help. Without having to use, like, the, to highlight everything in blue. Because I know that you can do that. And yes, I think it's an absolutely great thing to be able to do. Uh, but at the same time, I would like to try to do as much of this as I can without that. I kind of sort of learn as I go along type thing. Um, if, you know, you really think that is a bad idea and I shouldn't be trying to do that right. We can't do the oil filter from here. We've got to go under the car to do that one. And it looks like the belt tensioner. We've also got the uh, fuel thing intake drive. Oh, there it is. Fuel rail. That's what it's called. So we've got the fuel rail. Obviously, I knew it was called a fuel rail. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm completely up to date on all of my engine lingo. Uh, I, I know all about them. So we, we've got an, a spark plug that we've got to do. So that one is inside here somewhere. Um, how far in we got to go, I'm not quite sure. Right, what do we got? Uh, spark plug, spark plug. Where, where's the spark plugs? I thought they were up here somewhere. Is, is that... Uh, do I have to take those off? Maybe I should be using the blue thing. The spark plugs go in the back anywhere. No, no, because I, I, I always thought that, you know spark plugs were quite easy to get to. I know um, I've got a cement mixer that I use. It's um, not that I, but the, a cement mixer that I own. It's an old cement mixer, and I do occasionally take the cover off the spark plug in order to oh cover off. The spark. Ah, ignition wires. If I remove those, spark plug. Right, okay, so I don't actually need to go in the top bit. Uh, so let's put that one back on. There we go. Um, that one can go back on and. Yeah, so there's like little rubber caps that go over the spark plug, or a rubber cap that goes over the spark plug on my um, little tiny engine, on the petrol engine, on my um, cement mixer. And yeah, that, that one's fine. So, uh, no, I don't want to do that. I actually want to go to part unmount, and I've got to find the spark plug that's faulty. Should I do the blue on this? Actually, I'm going to do the blue on this rather than... Sa um, it, it'll save just a, a moment of time, it will. It's a moment of time. Um, spark plug there. We'll, we'll do that one spark plug in blue, and it's that one there. Let's see. So I was going to start at the other end, so I feel that that is okay. That's not really cheating. So part mount, let's put that one back on. There we go. A new spark plug in there, and then we can put the uh, ignition wires back over the top. We can put the new fuel rail in. That one up there. So we've also got somewhere down here. Well, we got that belt tensioner. Now, the belt tensioner used to be on here, or it, it was on the other ones that I've seen. So maybe there's um, something under this one. So let's go to part unmount, and we'll remove... No, I can't do that. So we'll remove this idler roller here, and we'll remove... Oh, no, no, come in. Remove the crankshaft pulley, like that, and timing cover. Maybe there's a... Ah, there it is. The belt tensioner. That's the one. It's the one on the um, the, the belt here. The, the timing belt. That's the one that we've got to replace. So now we go to part mount. And we can put the belt tensioner. Brand new one. That we can go back in. Do that one up. And then we can put the timing cover back over. The timing cover box. And the idler roller can go back on. Very poor condition, most of this vehicle. 
It's, it's amazing that it's lasted as long as it has, quite frankly. Uh, but it's doing, I mean, it, it does the job. It gets them from A to B, and I, I guess they don't really need it to do any more than that. That is, oh no, we've got one belt to put back on. Serpentine, belt A, that one can go on as well. Okay, job done. Right. And now we need to lift it up into the air, and we need to do the oil. So let's just lift it up a little bit higher. And while that one's lifting up, we can go over here, wait for it to finish lifting. And oil drain. Right, that one needs to go move equipment and place under car lifter. And then we come under here and oil drain, use equipment black dirty oil there right that one can go back to where it goes and somewhere under here is an oil filter there it is let's go up and oil filter that's the one that i want so there take, 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 take that one off and it's late okay it is it's late in the evening for me um i've had a busy day and i needed to try to get another recording done before i finish for the day so yeah, excuse the occasional pauses to yawn and the, um, the, the the slurred speech at times because I'm quite tired. Uh, right, so engine cover and we just need to go to the oil fill plug and fill the oil back up. So should we fill this one right up to the very brim, right up to the overflows? We did the overflow once. Ooh, slowing itself down. I'm going to take that as a hint, actually, rather than going all the way and overfilling it. And no, actually, it could take even more. It could take loads. This oil's expensive stuff. I am, I'm not made of oil, you know. I know one garage that will fill it to just above the bottom level on the dipstick. And if you... Oh, that's actually pouring out over the top then. If you go to that garage and um, you get your, your car filled, right, see that's at max level. That's actually a little bit over max level. Hopefully that will be okay. Um, given the state of the rest of the car, it's probably the most valuable part. <laughs> yeah. uh, the, the, um, the oil in the engine is now probably the most valuable part of this car. But uh, never mind. It's uh, not for us to judge. Exhaust manifold cover. You know it would help if we put that one back on. It really would. It really would. And let's go to part mount and put the new exhaust manifold cover back on. There we go. And now we're done. Right. Come out of there. Close the hood down. And now we should be done. Right. Car status. That's all done. And new engine oil and filter. That's done as well. Job bonus and tasks bonus ideal. 400. So that's $200 that we earned on that one. That's, now we're at $3,000. So we could spend $1,000 on our own car. I don't think that's going to get us very far. Um what is what's that is there a way to like this is the thing i don't know if can you can you like is there what can you repair on the repair bench we've got this repair bench here and i've no idea there are no items to work with it just keeps saying there's no items to work with what what do you repair on the repair bench um is there a way for us to repair and buff out um damage to uh, like the, the hood and that on our own car that we've got or not have, have we got to try something else but anyway we've got a little bit more time so we're going to do another phone order we're going to do the, the quick orders all day today and let me know in the comment section would you like me to do some more work on orders like this and get a bit more money do you want me to do the story line one next time which is this one here with the strange mushroom smell from inside the car or would you like me to try working on our own car as much as we can or at least as much as money would permit right timing needs replacing engine power has failed that doesn't look like it's got a list for all of it that could be interesting actually uh no bonuses on those um Right, so that's that's engine jobs, but yeah, I'm, I kind of like the sound of this one here. Um, so we take that order because yeah, one of them had a list. Mo most of them have got lists. So we got a list for one part of this, but we don't have a list for all of it. So there's the list: uh, timing belt, belt tensioner, and water pump. And then engine power has failed. Two parts not discovered. Now that could be a little bit more interesting. So let's just move this one over to uh, move car lift A. There we go, and. Let's put it up on the lifter. Right, so what did we need? Oh, hang on. No, I don't want to do that. There we go. Right, uh, check you. Car status. A timing belt, a belt tensioner, and an I-4 water pump. So let's go there. Timing belt and a belt tensioner. Those are easy. So we want a belt tensioner, that one right there. And then we want a timing belt, which is way down here somewhere. There we go. Uh, just a plain timing belt. And then... What was the other one? Hang on. I, I, I can never remember. I never, ever remember, do I? So, uh, water pump I-4. That's the other one that we want to get. So, I'll get that one in a second. Water pump I-4. There we go. Get that one. 
I'm out of here. So we got two bits in here that aren't working. And we've got to try to find a way to find out how they're not working. Ooh, hang on, right. That one there is very, very rusty. That's usually an indication that something has gone horribly wrong. So if we take that one out a minute. Yeah, ignition coil 1% that one was at. So that's one item. So maybe, just maybe the spark plug is as well as at 64%. Um, I think that is a fairly safe bet that if we were to do the spark plugs all the way along, we do the ignition coils and we do the spark plugs. Um, and that's at least going to tell us what percentage they are. They're all pretty good. So those are pretty good, but we do have that one ig ignition coil it was, wasn't it? I'm sure it was an ignition coil. Uh, large intake and ignition coil I4B. Ignition distribute. Ignition coil. It's just one of those. It was a very simple one. There was there was nothing else with the name. It was just plain ignition coil. So if we go on to here. Uh, nope. I want to go engine. And then I want to go like this. I want to go to part mount. And if I go up here. Right, spark plug. Those are all okay. Oh, one of them is 64%. What's the minimum condition that we're supposed to be doing things at? Um, car status, minimal condition 61%. Right, so that's the, the, the bit that we've got to do. We found one, which is the ignition coil. We're working on that. Let's move into here and we can... Oh, no, uh, I want to go to part mount, don't I? There we go. And spark plug. Another one there and finally one there right now we can put the ignition coil oh no ignition coil that's the new one hundred percent and then we've got the rest of these here these are actually okay 78 and one of them's at 61 which is sort of the, the the borderline for what we should be doing so there we go so that's the ignition coil is one of the items that stop this car from running um and now we need to oh no i didn't want to do that i wanted to i wanted to be able to take them off so we've got we need to do the timing belt. We've got a belt tensioner there that's got to come off. I haven't got a lot of room here to work. I'm, 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 this is right in my way, this is. I don't know if I should, I'm, I'm wondering if I should just remove the whole thing. Can I do that? I don't think I can. No, there's stuff inside. It's a bit of a shame. Right, let's uh, move down here. We can, we can at least see what we're doing from underneath here. And we can remove that belt there. We also need to remove the idler roller because we've got to do the timing belt, which is underneath these. So we've got to take off that crankshaft pulley. There we go. And the water pump, the I-4 water pump. This is one that we've got to do anyway. So let's take that one off. And then we've got to do the timing belt cover. Four of them there. Take that. And there we go. Right. And then timing belt. Right. Now, let's have a look around the engine and see if we can spot anything that looks really out of place. We found one bit which was, it was fairly obvious that there was something wrong with it when we looked at it. But I don't see at the moment anything else that looks like it's seriously damaged. Uh, that radiator, I've got to be honest, that the radiator doesn't look to be in that tip-top condition. 62%, right. So it's not the radiator. Uh, what about the battery? Nobody has said anything about the battery. 72%, okay. Part mount, let's, let's put these items back. So we, we know that it's, it's not the radiator, it's not the battery. Put that one back. Let's move over there and we'll put the radiator fan housing back on. There we go. And that one as well. Yes, they're in good condition. They're fine. Uh, right, we've got the cam gear there and there. They look to be in good condition. And so does the crankshaft from under there. That looks to be in good condition as well. But what would be causing this whole engine? Ooh, Maybe it's the fuel filter. Right, we'll, we'll come back to that. There's, there's one bit on here that we need to find, but it's not on this side. It, or at least it doesn't look like it. So let's put this new timing belt on, and then we want to put the new timing belt cover over it, like that. If I can just sort of come around to the side. It, it, the engine has stopped, so even though it's only firing on one cylinder, uh, it's firing on three cylinders of four with the... Um, the dodgy uh, is it ignition cap or whatever it was that you know the thing that goes with the spark plug it was only using one of those however only using one that's it, it, uh, it was only using three one of them it wasn't using it, it should still be able to run I know that it can with a diesel I know that a tractor you can run with um, when it's doing that it definitely can do it with a tractor because a tractor it, it just kind of 
It makes this funny ticking noise when it's missing. Um, and that's what it's called. It's just called missing. It misses one cylinder. It's not firing properly on one cylinder. Um, and so I'm guessing it would do the same with the petrol engine as well. Um, so if that's the case, that wouldn't really have stopped it. So maybe it is this fuel filter. So we want to go to part unmount and let's just click on the fuel filter over here. That is looking very, very dirty, isn't it? So let's remove that. That's 18%. Yes, ideal fuel filter. I have the, the reason that I've uh, sort of got that is because um, the fuel filter is an issue that we've had at work with our dumper for quite some time. And we just couldn't figure it out. Every time, you know, the dumper would keep dying on us every few days. Um, and we took the fuel filter off and it was all clogged up with muck. So we uh, cleaned it all out and then, uh, right, what am I looking for? I'm looking for fuel filter. Down a little bit. There we go. Right, fuel rail. Uh, fuel filter, that one right there. Um, so yeah, you, you, we had this issue and we, we could not figure it out and it kept and then uh, we cleaned out the, the whole tank, um, the whole of the, well, I need part mount mode, um, oh it's up there, the, the whole of the, um, the tank was like drained out and there was a little bit of um, muck and that in there but it wasn't too bad so we, we couldn't sort of figure that out either um, and eventually we found a second fuel filter hidden on this thing and that one was all clogged up as well so I'm familiar with the fact that a clogged fuel filter would actually stop the vehicle from working um, and it's probably because of that that I suddenly thought oh fuel filter what about the fuel filter it must be the fuel filter right timing belt belt tensioner water pump are done and those two are done as well we're not going to send it out while it's sat on the car lift that just doesn't feel like it's uh, the right thing to do so we'll lower it down to the ground it's back on the ground now we can send it out. Let's go to car status. 245 and 132. We spent just under 300. We got $370 for this particular job. That's pretty good, I'd say. Especially considering we had to do a little bit of hunting around for jobs. So that really is all that I got time for today. Remember, head in the comment section. Let us know if you'd like me to do a load more sort of just odd jobs. And keep knocking them through like we're doing at the moment in order to earn a bit more cash. Would you like me to try this job here? The storyline one with a strange smell from inside the car. Or would you rather I got our own car back in here and we started working on it again? I am going to try for 75%, although the bodywork, I'm thinking it will hit, uh, we'll say 60% is acceptable on the bodywork, but 75 on everything else. Um, maybe, I don't know. Is there a way to repair bodywork? That's something I'd like to know about. Uh, we can't go in there anyway. Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed this episode, please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, Please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. There's another barn over there. Ooh. We might just head over to the barn and see if it's got any bits for our car. If we could find bits in there, because, you know, like all the, the doors and the windows and everything, that might actually save us a bit of money. We won't get another car, but we could try that. That, that might be worth doing. We'll take a look. But anyway, um, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.